Okay, I think I see what's going on here. It's in this valley area. You can see the water is running pretty good in there. And there is a couple spots where it's damming up a little bit. You can see right here it's damming up. Like if I move this, the water should go. Yeah, see the water starts running again. So you got some damming going on here, here. Uh, the water runs pretty smooth until it gets to about here. You can see it's damming up again really bad in there. You see the water building up. And same thing down here. Some major damming. Oh God, it's so slippery. In here too as well. Not sure what that is. Get that out of there. All right, yeah, some major damming going on here. So I'm gonna recommend a roof maintenance. Uh, yeah, you can see the the water's ponding, puddling up right here in the valley, where it should be rapidly. So what's happening is the water's ponding, and then it's working its way off of the metal valley pan. So I would recommend a roof maintenance. Come through. We'll we'll secure and seal. All of the roof jacks will open up all the valleys here. Uh, we'll take all the, let me back this up. We'll take all these valleys out, open them up, expose the 24 inch valley pan, clean out all the debris, make sure the channel lip is, is correct. We'll go ahead and do that same thing here. We'll replace any tile that we find that's cracked or chipped. Um, we'll add some more lead flashings, some lead flashing to these ridge transitions. And these peak transitions here as well, we'll add lead flashings. Um, all of the roof jacks we'll go ahead and reseal and secure. We'll remove any chipped tile or bro broken tile, like there's a chipped tile. This backside's got quite a bit of chipped and cracked tiles. As well as the peak transition also needs some lead flashing. Here, this is showing lots of holes. Got some damaged tiles here which this is what's causing the kitchen leak. Um, this is all bad, this doesn't look good over here. So kitchen leaks being caused by this area, I'd wanna peel up all of these tiles, maybe all the way down to the bottom of the solar panels. Remove the bad batten boards, remove the bad underlayment, um, inspect the wood, if there's any rot, you know the price will have to change a little bit and we'll replace the rot. Then we'll install new underlayment, new batten boards, new tiles. As far as the middle bedroom, I would think that there's a leak going on and I think it's coming from here, this broken ridge cap. And if not, then it's definitely coming from a bad bracket underneath here, but it's hard to tell without being able to pull it up and open it up. But there is a broken ridge cap directly above that bedroom, so I'm suspecting that that has a lot to do with what's going on here. All of the vent jack flashing, got a couple slid tiles here. I can go ahead and kick that one up back to where it belongs and then uh, yeah so I think that'll remedy your problems we'll go around the chimney to make sure all the flashing around the chimney is good I did notice in the front area that these uh, ridge caps the end caps this area right here is like not really that great and I suspect it's gonna cause you an issue in the future so I would want to focus on this area here uh, this peak transition as well and then the opposite end cap as well looks like it needs a little love so yeah i'm just going to put you on for a roof maintenance i think the roof's got plenty of life left in it if we go ahead and make these these few uh repairs to it just do a solid roof maintenance on it and it'll repair all your issues also notice the gutters are in really bad shape so i'm not sure if you're interested in getting new gutters but uh, that would be something I would recommend. These plastic gutters they do okay, but we have six inch seamless gutters that we install. Uh, so let us know if you're interested in getting that. But yeah, broken tiles, roof maintenance, open up the valleys, clean it out, adjust the channel pan, make sure that it's all letting the water flow and there's no blockages causing ponding. And then all the ridge transitions need to be lead flashing right there. And then the two opposite sides, there's two valleys here. Go ahead and uh, seal and secure all of the roof jacks to code. Like this one here, you can tell it's, it's lifting pretty badly. So we'll install those correctly. And then uh, 
Ja, aber da sehen wir.